Hello, retired teachers. This is Kelly Jackson. Um, you know, I always say that next to parents, teachers are the most important people in young people's lives. And I have a teacher, Mr. Powers. He was my fifth and sixth grade teacher. He was a Vietnam veteran, and he also suffered from a debilitating illness. Yet, he continued to teach for many, many years, and he left such a lasting impression in my life. So. I totally, truly salute all of you teachers out there. Thanks so much for making me part of who I am today. Congratulations. You know, a great teacher is something that you never forget. I still can picture and vividly recall experiences with my seventh grade teacher, Mrs. Pierce, and my eighth grade teacher, Sister James Mary the impressions that they made upon me have not gone away after all these many years. Uh, I just want to commend all the teachers out there. The job that you do with our children is fantastic. You're underpaid, you're underappreciated, and yet you keep coming back and doing it. And thank you from the bottom of my heart for all the work that you do, not just for our, our children, but also for the entire community. A job well done. I mean, let's be serious. Even when we're my age, we never call teachers by their first names. It's always Mr. and Mrs. But I wanted to just share a couple of stories because we've all had favorite teachers along the way. There was a third grade teacher, Miss Runcer, who had me writing creative stories and then reading them in front of the class. And then I had a high school government teacher, Mr. Hawk, who said I had more aptitude for the speech and debate team than the cheerleading squad. And he was right because I never could do the splits. But so many teachers along the way, in fact I have to say probably all of them, encouraged me and let me know that if I worked hard that I could do and be anything. And for a kid, that's a pretty powerful message. So to all of you, thanks. Hey everybody, congratulations and thank you so much for everything that you do. You make such a difference uh, in so many young lives and we just appreciate it. have two daughters now, looking forward to having them in public schools. And it was one of my second grade teachers that actually said, you know Crowley, um, you have the gift of gab. Perhaps you should channel it into something productive. So that's the influence teachers have. They can help kind of shape, mold, and guide us. So thank you so much. I uh, hope you guys have a wonderful day. And again, thanks for everything that you do. Enjoy. Hi there, this is Monica Woods from News 10 in the Weather Department. I want to say thank you so much for everything that you do. I visited my daughter's first grade class, and I'll tell you, you've got the patience of Job to deal with 30 students at a time, sometimes more. So thank you from the bottom of our hearts, not only as being educators, but from parents alike. Thank you so much for your work.